it's Kate. So we are headed into Hollywood Studios. These two stinkers got to go while I was at work. Uh, one day this week, my husband took some time off and um, they went and rode Sleeky Dog without me. So I, <laughs> I was able to get some Alien Saucer Fast Passes. Nothing for Slinky Dog, but we'll check the wait times and see how it is um, for that. But we are pulling in now. I wanted to show you guys because there is some serious construction going on here. I guess they've moved the bus drop-off location so you can kind of see it. It's right here, right when you come in, where it used to be right at the front of the park. Um, ooh, a little jerky here. Ooh. <laughs> oh, jeez. Hey. Hello, my friend. How you doing? Good. How are you? Doing well. Doing well. Can I see a photo ID with this real quick? Mm-hmm. Thanks, Abel. Thank I you. I appreciate it. Enjoy the show. Bye. Have, Have a good, good night. One. So, kind of an update for you. This just stresses me out. This bus and car traffic converging right here. That gives me anxiety. But the buses turn here now, so they're way back here. Yeah, so that's a far walk for people who are staying at the resorts and taking the bus in. Um, that's a lot farther than where it was, um, which was really right at the front gate. So just wanted to show you that as far as the update there. made it in. Our first fast pass is for the Indiana Jones show um, when we can get in between 5.30 and 5.45. It's about 5.30 now. Go ahead, honey. Probably the best part of this experience, I think, is gonna be these big old fans. These feel so good right now. We are getting a nice breeze. It was good.
long. We have about an hour until our next Fast Pass, which is for Star Tours, which is directly across the way. And honestly, the Fast the fast Pass, the standby time for Star Tours is only 15 minutes. So if we finish early, we might just wait and stand by. Um, but we are gonna get some food. There was some availability for Mama Melrose's and for the Brown Derby, but those are definitely sit downs. So they're a little pricier, I think, than what we're wanting to spend right now. So we'll hit back lot. There is a ton of seating um, here, a lot of outdoor seating available. Um, and I believe there's some indoor seating too, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, I think those people are sitting inside. So let's go check out the food. Here's the menu. I'm kind of eyeballing either the Capri sandwich or the chicken and waffles. What looks good to you, Mama? Uh oh, we can go somewhere else. Can you flip it so I can see the back more quick? Kids menus and beverages. Look, a little BB-8 cup. So cute. All right, I was picking it. Oh no, no, you're good. Mama got the chicken club. Um, and then we also got our side of carrot sticks, being healthy. Abel got the chicken salad. With avocado. With avocado. And I got the Capri sandwich with fries, not being healthy. Yeah, you know. Um, and then here is, it was thirty-eight oh nine. Well, that was cheaper than the 180 we were going to spend at Hollywood and buy. True that though. About 7.30, we're gonna hit our Fast Pass for Star Tours, even though it is only a 10 minute standby. Abel, this is where the infamous Fast Pass fast kid hit. Hopping Fast Pass. Oh yeah, this is the Fast Pass. Kid. Yeah, and we have a story with our family. We were in the standby line and a kid goes, Fast Pass, and keeps going. So now we just keep laughing about it. Yeah. Very cool. Mama, you're gonna get stomped on right here. I know, you get me. Let's go get you. This is the stage for the Jedi Temple training. Now I would love to watch the show. So if your kiddos go to be a Jedi master, that's where they go. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to ask the Star Tours agent. Play glasses. Will you grab mine, Mom? Three. Thank you. We gotta take our picture. <laughs> oh, we're over in front of Chinese um, Grauman Theater, just killing some time for our alien saucer fast passes at nine. And we found some really fun Hollywood um, hand and footprints. There's C3PO and R2D2. And then over here, is Kermit the Frog with his little tiny Kermit hands and Jim Henson. Some of it's blocked off. They've got some walls here. And then Jerry Lewis up there. Worry Buddy. Some of these people I don't know. I feel uncultured a little. But I thought that the like Disney character ones, you know, R2-D2, C-3PO, Danny DeVito. Oh, this one's Disney's 101 Dalmatians. That's so cool. Daryl Hannah. Gosh, I'm stuck, Goofy. May 1st, 89. Happy birthday, Mickey. We love you. So cute. This one's Jackie somebody. Very fun. This is kind of like tucked away here by the waterfall. Here's the theater. So this is a fun little spot. There's nobody over here. That ride though. All right guys. This is probably my third or fourth time coming into Toy Story Land, but it's actually the first time I've ever vlogged it. Um, I was actually in Washington when it opened. My husband was here, though, was 
for opening day, he was here. But um, the past couple times that I've been coming, I've just been spending time with my family and I haven't brought my camera. So I'm kind of excited to be able to actually have the camera and show you guys around. I'm sure you've seen it before at this point. Um, I know that the Toy Story blogs and vlogs have been blowing up the internet and YouTube space. There's Buzz out meeting and greeting. I'm sorry if it's shaking a little bit from my walking. No joke. We left mom in line at Slinky Dog and I came back here by Alien Saucers because I wanted to show you guys a very quick update on the Star Wars construction. So this is the entrance to the Alien Saucers. You can see Buzz right there. And then that is the construction wall and the Star Wars construction right there. So I think that's really cool. It looks like it's coming along pretty well. Um, I'm excited to see what will... I'm excited. I mean, I'm excited to see it when it opens. This is, what I guess, what I'm trying to say. It's really cool, but it's really fast. Like, they're booking it, I think. Yeah. Well, it's supposed to open next year, is it not? I don't know. Maybe. Here's Alien Saucers. We're going to come back to that at 9 um, and ready to go wait. The Slinky Dog is posted at 65 minutes, um, which is not bad considering the opening day. It was like three hours. Yeah, three, four so, hours. Let's hit it. Let's go. Ah! Alien Saucers! We got our Slinky Dog. How'd you like Slinky Dog? Oh. Thank you! I wasn't paying attention. I was talking about Slinky Dog. You have been chosen! You have been chosen! Look, Mom's over there! Here's the seatbelt, honey. Here's the pulling. Look at Mama way over there! Hi, Mama! <laughs> She's ready to go! You're ready to go! getting more humid. <laughs> it is really humid. I'm excited! Let's see and let's do it. Let's do it. Ooh. Can you see the wet on my face from the humidity? And the, my and the frizz forehead. in my hair? Yeah, the shine on my face. fireworks are happening this is actually an amazing view for it and what's a really cool experience that we just had was at the Toy Story entrance location where there is a photo pass cast member he actually had us turn around and he was kneeled down angling the camera up to get the fireworks behind us so I'm really excited to see how those pictures come out and if they come out really well I can include them in the video but I just thought that that was actually really cool, very unique. Not something I've seen. Oh my God. Ah, can you guys see this? This is crazy.
They're playing the good night message, which means we're leaving. That's our day at Hollywood Studios. It's time to go home when the choir from Hercules starts singing, a star is born. <laughs> high pitch voice. That is it. I hope you guys enjoyed. We had a very productive night. It was super fun. I love Hollywood Studios. I love Toy Story Land. I'll talk to you later. Bye.